everybody, welcome to my little corner where there's no wrong way to play with paper. I hope you're having a good day. I do. I'm so happy you're joining with me. I am. This is day seven of 30 Days of Sketches with Christy from Christy's Beautiful Life. Go check out her Facebook group, 30 Days of Sketches, and tell her, knock on the door, <laughs> right, when you join, and say, hey, Ginger sent me over here. What's up? <laughs> You guys, if you've been watching, you know what my goal is. So um, definitely tell Christy I said hi. And you can get all of the sketches for 30 Days of Sketches. Print them out and use them for yourself. They're free sketches that are made just for 30 Days of Sketches by your fellow crafters. So definitely do that. Today's sketch is by Tracy England. I will put it up here um, in the video. And we're just going to have some fun. She has some squares. Basically, it's layers of squares, right? And I love how she took the time to tell us where to put each thing. That's really cool. So thank you, Tracy, for the inspiration. Now, I'm going to make mine a two-page layout. I am still using 49 and Market. Um, let's see. This paper here was Vintage Artistry Country. Am I lying to you? I don't want to lie to you. Um, yeah, Color Butter. Okay, the artistry color butter. So there's that. I did pull out a piece of Echo Park green. I needed some green. This was the other paper that was in my kit. If you watched me make the kits to prep, then you know I don't think I'm gonna use this one. So we'll just put it in our scraps. So I'm just gonna do that right now. So it's off my desk. And I, as I go, I put all of my scraps in here. And in fact, I'm gonna show you how I used some of those scraps today to create some ephemera, okay? So here we are. This is Jilly and her cake. My title is going to be cake. My beautiful friend Michelle made this gorgeous, gorgeous title. Um, I'm missing the C. So um, she did it very lattice work because this is Jilly's cake. Look at the lattice work on this. You know, this cake, well, it's a lot. $100 for a cake. But look at the lattice work on there. It's a one-time thing. You know, it's like a wedding cake. You just splurge. It's not as much as a wedding cake. I don't even know how much a big cake was because this one was not that big. It was only for 30 people. Um, so she has her title. She says to put it right here, which I don't know if I want to put my title there or not. I'm kind of wanting because the lattice work that um, Miss Michelle did on this title it mimics, in a way, the swirlies on the cake. So I'm kind of thinking I want to put it here. No wrong way, right? I uh, want to remind you, the sketches are meant to inspire you and get you into your crafty space. Whether you're doing a scrapbook page or something else, definitely. I mean, you could make a card and just um, shrink down your papers. That's all you would do. You could do it however you like. So... I have been inspired. I absolutely love the layers. And that's what I see when I do this. I see layers. Now, I don't know that I'm going to do clusters in the corner. I honestly don't know what I'm going to do. But we are going to play. I can tell you that. So I took a scrap piece of the 49 Market Artistry Butter and a stamp set. I'm going to toss that in those that scraps too. And I made myself, I took to close to my heart set, I'm gonna show you what it is here in just a second, a bunch of florals playing off of these here, okay? Um, I do I do know I have that piece of ephemera. I got some puffy stickers. I'm trying to get to the stamp set. So um, I this is the stamp set here and it's called Love Story Scrap, and it says scrapbooking on it. So um, I just did these three florals and then these two leaves and I did them and I die cut them and so way to use your scraps right I have those if I want them then I pulled out a simple story set um from this wedding line and what is this wedding line happily ever after because let's see here I need to open it I'm just gonna start dumping things out I should get my little thing. I, I don't know why I'm not. In fact, I probably should. It's going to stress me out to have it sitting everywhere. Yeah, let's just do it. Okay, so I'll put all my flowers in there. Makes it easier for me. My brain likes it this way. And I have a cake, a tiered cake. Okay, at Jilly's party, we had confetti balloons. And you can buy these at Walmart. They're like 97 cents. And they're clear balloons with confetti. And they were her colors gold. So we did that. And I grabbed, there was another one. Now this one does have a set of rings on it, but I'll tuck it in somewhere. 
Don't be afraid to use ephemera from other lines, um, whatever you're doing, if it matches. I have some gold hearts, because Jill's color was green and gold. Okay, now I feel better. There's a little banner, some candlesticks. I also have some frames. Again, there's my puffy stickers. Um, and Oh, and this is from that wedding line too. These are vintage artistry essentials. So maybe we'll tuck a frame or two. I don't know. I got this Dollar Tree window. Now, remember when the Dollar Tree, these are stickers too, but I, if I did, I'd just use the window. Then I have some windows here that I got on Timu. I'm thinking I might use these, to be honest, because there's brown elements in here. I just pulled out some ephemera. I got this a long time ago, and this is actually acrylic. I like the little deer. I'm going to throw that in there. Um, What else? I don't know. Oh, look. Yes, that's what I was looking for. So it has these green, um, like, stumps and I thought that might be good too. So we're gonna go through some of this. Okay, so now I have all my ephemera together and let's just play. I'm really liking cake, I do. In fact, maybe I should bring it down. Now we're gonna do some trial and error because that's my strong point. I try it, hopefully it's not an error. <laughs> okay, so what I'm thinking is I could do maybe a little cake here. I'm going to journal here. I've been leaving myself journaling spots, so I am going to journal there. And let's see here. I'm kind of thinking of the camera. Hmm, where could I put this? I'm liking the camera. I do have other cameras wonder if I shouldn't layer this over here even, camera, and then put this third one, just tuck it in there. I can ink all these so they'll show up a little bit better. I can also pull this down a hair. Definitely get, gotta do the inking. We're hiding those um, rings because we don't want the rings, we don't. I was thinking maybe, just maybe, we could do the deer, but that's not really working either. I don't know, the deer's a little awkward. Maybe we won't do the deer, we'll see. Let's get some of these floors out. Oh look, here's a little acrylic bunny. We could do a bunny, just like, like a, just a little bunny. How cute is he? He's so sweet, I love him. Okay, so just tuck in some flowers. Again, I'm going to ink everything. I need a little one. We can pop this one up on foam, maybe. I'm liking that. And just do like a little cluster. That's not bad. Hmm. Things that make you go, hmm. Then on this side, if I did a piece of acrylic, I found this camera in that acrylic. Or I do have... Um, this green camera. I'm really kind of liking the green one. So what if we take some of these flowers and again, I'm just, I'm just going with the flow over here, seeing what works and what doesn't. Okay. Once I have some of these flowers in, I think what I will do is tuck in some leaves. I'll go like that. We'll put this one up on foam like that. Now, when I use acrylic pieces, I either put them up on foam or I use the glue dots. It just seems to work better. Then maybe I could do a little cluster up there. No, I'm not liking that. Maybe there. Okay. Do one up here. Let's see what we can come up with. We definitely need some sentiments, and we'll pull out our little sentiment thing. Could do this one up on foam. Okay, maybe we should even build this side up a little bit. Like so. And another one right here. I do like that. That's cute. All right, so then we have some leaves. So let's poke some leaves. This is kind of a bright green like that. So I like the idea of doing that color. Here it is again, so we could definitely do that. 
um, one more time, like so. And then I have this different color green, which it's okay to have a couple different color greens. I'm all right with that. Maybe one down there. Okay, I like that. We've poked that in. Talked about maybe doing like a frame. I have some of these windows and all these little bits here. And I got these on Timu as well. So these are really nice. And let's see here. I'm thinking of just building this up, right? It's just layers. I do like that. Like that. Just gives it a little something. And hang on. I think I had an acrylic heart balloon. I do. So what if I were to take this balloon and I put this heart balloon here because it will stand out more. Or even, what if I put it like right, just tuck it in there because there is a little heart there as well. I like that. Then what if I put a frame over here, right? What we do in one cluster, we do in another. So let's try putting this bigger frame up here. I'm liking that. Maybe like that. Eh, let's maybe try it down here. Let's see. We need to play with this a little more. And then tuck the balloon in here so we hide. We're hiding those rings. I could always cut them off if I needed to. This will go up on foam. And we'll tuck that in like that. I like that. Okay. Then we need maybe one more window to stick um, up there. So have this pack of windows. I like the one with lots of them, but, ooh, this one. Okay, just like that. And I think I'll use green enamel dots for sure. And I need to ink all these edges brown like I did these papers when I was putting down the base. And ta-da! The only thing that seems off to me is cake. And believe it or not, I think it'll look better here. Yeah, <laughs> funny how I was like, no, I don't want it over there. But now I think it'll look better over here. See, got to try things, we just do. And I could, I have a few more flowers left. I could beef this up just a little bit. Let's see here. Good, doesn't that look better? I have one more flower I think that I made, or two. And I might stick those on the layout when I'm playing. So let me go glue it down. Thanks for hanging out with me. Thanks for doing some trial and error. And I'll be right back. We'll talk about whatever I do different. All right, everybody. I did a few things different. <laughs> I added the little squirrel. I added these little swags that was in my ephemera here and up here. I did add the sentiment here and I added a little um, so very happy bubble there. You'll see them all on the close-ups. I think it's really cute. I did black enamel dots instead of green. I just feel like they popped a little better and I inked the whole thing. Now, normally I would not ink the center here in a two-page layout, but I kind of like how it to me, these are frames of photos, right? Here's a grid, here is a grid, here is a grid. So that's kind of how I'm seeing that. And to me, that mimics what um, Miss Tracy had, right? There's sections. So I really love this um, sketch. I think I will probably do it again. I think it's very adaptable. Um, I made it into a two-page layout and I got, let's see, six, seven, eight photos on here. So I hope you're inspired. Check everyone else out. There's one link. You can go see everyone do the same sketch in different ways using different products. I had fun building clusters today. Like, I really like this. I use several different products, right? I used handmade flowers. I used ephemera from a wedding pack. I used um, some a gift from a friend. And I used some acrylic I used a lot of different things. The The windows were from Timu. So don't be afraid to mix and match. I know I get stuck using all 49 and Market because that's what I'm playing with. Well, I love 49 and Market, but it's expensive, number one. And I want to use the things I have, number two. So definitely, I hope it inspires you to do that. Be blessed. Thanks for hanging out with me. I would be honored if you gave the video a thumbs up. I haven't said that in a long time, but when you guys take the time to give a video a thumbs up, I know what kind of content you like, and I do my best to plan that for you guys, as well as put in the things that I enjoy, which I enjoy all of it, let's be honest. But I want you guys to stay inspired and be excited to come and hang out with me. So definitely do that. I'd be so grateful. And with that, have a great day. I'll see you next time. Be blessed. Bye-bye.